All right, this is um, EGM 211, Engineering Mathematics. During the class, we ended on question six, but we want to continue with uh, question seven, eight, and nine going down. But question seven is very simple. We did them last week. You can find the maximum and the minimum, determining the nature of the functions, using the ideas that we learned. Let me just switch off the internet. Okay, using the ideas that we learned, but on question 9, um, I, there is this question, this is question 9, I where we are told to uh, differentiate this function using logarithms. So let's do that. Using logarithms, I have to introduce ln both sides. ln of y is equal to ln of this thing, this side. x plus 3 squared, and then x minus 3 divided by the root of 2x plus 5 and then times 2x plus 7 power 4 and then we close so ln of y is equal to i will do the same thing x plus 3 squared and then i have x minus 3 this can be written written in positive index form as 1 over 2 and then 2x plus 7 power 4 we close from here we simplify the logs we know that uh, ln of a ln of a times b like this is equal to ln of a plus ln of b. ln of a divided by b is equal to ln of a minus ln of b. L, if I say a there, ln of a, capital letter A, this will give me ln capital letter A, A. So these logarithms here, uh, or rules of logarithms, we'll use them to answer this question. So L N of Y becomes, so on top, we are using this one, on top I will have X plus 3 squared times X minus 3, like this, down minus ln of 2x plus 5 power 1 over 2 2x plus 7 power 4 like that so ln of y is equal to now we perform this one this this logarithm we have uh, x plus 3 power 2 plus x minus 3. This side, I have a minus here. Then this thing will follow the same thing here. I have ln of 2x plus 5 power 1 over 2 plus ln of 2x plus 7 power 4 at least. Now we perform this logarithm here. Uh, ln is equal to the two drops x plus 3 plus this one is x minus 3 and then this side we have I can distribute a negative and drop the power. So I drop the power here. I have 1 over 2. Okay, we'll do that later. Ln of 2x plus 5. Drop the power plus 4. Ln 
of 2x plus 7 we cross again <coughs> so from here now let us distribute ln of y is equal to 2x plus 3 plus ln of x minus 3 minus 1 over 2 2x plus 5 minus 4 2x plus 7 so that's how we can simplify these logarithms this is how we can expand in short so now let's do differentiation I differentiate this side there is no x so using prince the differentiation this is the logarithm a derivative of log y is 1 over y dy dx which is equal to we differentiate this side the derivative here 2 is constant so I'll write the 2 times the derivative of this part is 1 over x plus 3 plus the derivative of this is 1 over x minus 3 minus 1 over 2 the derivative of this part you apply chain rule according according to chain rule we are going to have the derivative of everything here when you substitute u you are going to have 1 over u times the derivative of the function inside so my u is 2x plus 5 times the derivative of the, this function inside which will just be 2 like that minus I have 4 times 1 over 2x plus 7 times the derivative of the function inside this is 2 we simplify 1 over y dy dx is equal to I have now 2 on top over x plus 3 plus 1 over x minus 3 um, minus the 2 is 2 and that 1 will cancel I'm going to have um, 1 over 2x plus 5 again I have this 2 and that will give us negative 8 minus 8 over 2x plus 7 okay so now we have um, we can add them if we want so 1 over y dy dx is equal to so let me just add this part I have um, from this side I have x plus 3 times x minus 3 is here we are going to have 2 x minus 3 plus x plus 3 minus mm. okay let's add even this side over I'll put plus and then I say 2 x plus 5 times 2 x plus 7 this into this we have this times negative 1 minus 2x plus 7 this into that we have this times that minus 8 times 2x plus 7 so 1 over y dy dx is equal to <coughs> So give us 6x minus, sorry, 2x minus 6 plus x plus 3 divided by x squared minus 9 and 
then this side we are going to have mm, plus negative 2x minus 7 minus 16x minus 8 times 7 8 times 7 56 over 2x plus 5 times 2 x plus 7 like that so 1 over y to y dx is equal to this part is 3x minus 3 over x squared minus 9 and then the, this all of it will give us negatives so minus then I have um, 2 this is negative 18 let me maintain negative positive here then I have negative 18x and then negative 56 minus 7 I have negative 63 divided by 2x plus 5 2x plus 7 like that so from here 3 is common here Three is common, we can factor it out, but dy dx is equal to we do cross multiplication, we have y times mm, three x minus one over x squared minus nine minus now eighteen x minus plus we have factorized the negative. 3, 63 over 2x plus 5, 2x plus 7. That. But we know that our y is, so the y dx. So substituting the value for y, which is here, our um, x plus 3 squared x minus 3 divided by the root of 2 x plus 5 2 x plus 7 times 3 x minus 1 over x minus 1 x plus 63 over 2x plus 5 2x plus 7 so that will be the derivative of that function in case there is a mistake somewhere let me know in the comments so we go to the next question question 9 part 2 9 part 2 we are saying that y is equal to so let us apply ln to this function so ln of y is equal to ln of ln x and x like this. So we use the logarithms, rules of logarithm, the rhythms I showed you earlier. I'll drop the power. This is in of x and then on the main with L n over L n over x like this. So we have this function times this function. 
the derivative this side will be product rho plus chain rho here. So the derivative here is 1 over y dy dx should give us the derivative of this side dx times ln ln x this will give us 1 over y dy x equal to so I will differentiate this one according to product rule keeping this one so I have times derivative of ln of x plus now I keep this one but I differentiate this one this one so we have 1 over y y dx equal to ln n of x the derivative here is 1 over x plus ln x times the derivative of this one here we have to do chain rule because we have if I have uh, y is equal to ln ln of x like this one I'll say let u be equal to ln of x then my y becomes ln of u like that so that dy du is just dy dx is just equal to dy du times du dx so dy dx is equal to dy du 1 over u times du dx 1 over x so dy du is equal to 1 over the uh, ln of x times 1 over x like this. So dy du is equal to 1 over x ln of x like that. So this is the answer I'm going to put here. 1 over x n of x so 1 over y dy dx is equal to 1 over x ln ln of x plus this one and that one cancel we are going to remain with 1 over x 1 over x is common, so 1 over y, dy, dx is equal to 1 over x, everything, 1 over 1, ln of x, like that, uh, plus 1 like this. And then I do cross multiplication, dy, dx is equal to y, times 1 over x ln ln of x plus 1 like that I know what my y is so dy dx is equal to ln of x power ln of x times uh, let me now say ln ln of x plus 1 divided by x you can factor out uh, you can bring this uh, 1 over x this side and then we have 1 over x times 
Differentiation, sorry, differentiate the following by imprinced functions. So, question 10 I have um, x squared plus y squared over 2xy is equal to sine y. I want to differentiate this function by imprints the differentiation. So the first thing that I'll say is to differentiate. Here we are going to apply quotient rule. So I'll say the derivative of the top part x squared plus y squared times v my v is x y minus now i keep the two part x squared plus y squared times derivative of what is term to x y divided by v squared to x y squared should give me the derivative of sine y. So the derivative of this we are going to have 2x plus the derivative of this is 2y but dy dx times 2xy go to this one minus x squared plus y squared the derivative of this these are two functions so we use product rule so i differentiate x i have one times y plus now i differentiate y i will have two x dy dx like this over 2xy everything squared should give us cos y dy dx let us expand this one and that one i have 4x squared y this and that i have plus 4xy squared dy dx minus this times that of 2x squared y this times that minus 2x power 3 dy dx this times that of minus y squared y power 3 y power 3 and then this and that of minus um, y minus 2xy dy dx is equal to cos y dy dx over 4xy 
k squared squared mm -hmm. after doing that let's see if we can have uh, common uh, right terms I have this one, I have this one, so I have 2x squared y. Um, this and that should give me y squared here. Okay, so let's see, this has gone, we have remained with this and that, minus. 2x power 3 2y <coughs> dx and then this one and this one will give us positive 2x uh, y squared dy dx minus y power 3 is equal to cos y to y dx over 4x squared y squared so this one and this one is 2x squared y minus y power 3 and then I factorize 2 and let me check here when I multiply this one and that one, we have a 2. So that here we have a 2. There we have a 2. Thank you. And then from here, we are going to have um, this one and that one. I factor out. So I have negative 2x power 3. Let me factorize even a negative. Negative 2. Like that. Then we are going to have um, plus xy uh, squared y dx equal to cos y y dx over 4x squared y squared so from here the 2 is also common here so let me factorize the 2 and then I take this thing that side ok the 2 will cancel let us reduce the 2's will cancel then we are going to remain with x squared y minus y power 3 minus x power 3 plus x y squared y dx over 2x squared y squared is equal to cos y y dx so this one x squared y minus y power 3 minus mm, x power 3 x y squared This times that should give us dy dx is equal to 2x squared y squared cos y dy dx. Taking this thing that side, we will have this will be positive. So we are going to have x power 3 plus xy squared plus 2xy y cos y then y dx. If 
the limit as x approaches a of f of x over f of a over g of x the limit of this is equal to the limit of the function the derivative of the function divided by the derivative of the function g mm. g of x provided that f of a is going to be 0 g of a it's going to be zero and then you have an undeterminate form of zero over zero here or when you put maybe infinite you are going to have here f of a gives you infinite and f of g of o a gives you infinite then this is true if this is not there or this is not apply applicable to this then you can't use hosp hospitals rule so let us try to see so the limit of x as x approaches zero of course x e x over x so i'll try to put zero through. If I put 0 here, I'm going to have a 1. If I put 0 here, I'll have 1. If I put 0 here, I'll have 0. So I'm going to have 1 minus 1, 0 over 0, which satisfies that part. So hospital rule can work here. So, what are we going to have now? So, the limit of x of um, as x approaches 0 of cos x e x over x should be equal to, according to this rule, the derivative, the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the function above divided by the derivative of the function down like this so let us differentiate this is negative the limit as x approaches 0 negative sine x minus this is the exponent of x divided by 1. Now let us try to apply the limit. This part, the limit as sine x approaches, uh, the limit of sine x as x approaches 0, this is 0 minus, here we are going to have 1 over 1. So the limit is negative 1 is the limit as x approaches 0 of cos x e x over x is equal to negative 1 we have um, part 2 of 11 so I want to find the limit as x approaches infinite of x power 3 plus 2x plus 2 over 5x power 3 plus 8 if we try 
if I put infinite infinite on top I'm having infinite down here I'm also having infinite so let us try to differentiate so uh, this will give us this is equal to the derivative the limit as x approaches infinite I differentiate this part I'm going to have Okay, so the limit as x approaches infinite, this will give us 6x plus 2 over, this will give us now 30x. Still, if I apply the limit, I'm still having this one, meaning still, so we have to differentiate again. limit as x approaches infinite this is 6 over 30 at this point the limit will be found so we have um, 1 6 over 30 which is 1 over 5 as our limit so that's how you answer these questions Let's try to answer question part 4. Question part 4, 11 part 4. The limit as x approaches 0 of cos x minus 1 over mean cos x. If I put 0 here, we are going to have undefined uh, cos 1, so we are going to have 0, and this is 1 minus, we are going to have 0 over 0, if I substitute the 0, so we can apply, so we differentiate the function on top, we differentiate the function down, this is equal to the limit, as x approaches 0, this is negative sine, x minus this is a zero over the derivative here we are going to have one over cos x times the derivative inside use chain rule so find the derivative we differentiate this separately this is your u and then differentiate by using chain rule. So we are going to have 1 over cos x times the derivative of this function, negative sine x by this. So this is the limit as x approaches 0. So we have one negative sine x. The negatives will cancel. So or we have something like this sine x divided by cos x when you divide this by dividing this sine x by this fraction we get the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x times cos x plus sine x and the sine or cancel sine of x so we remain with the limit as x approaches 0 of cos x what is cos 0? cos 0 is 1 so the limit of this function is 1 by the hospital's rule so I think for today that's what we can that's where we can end. Let me know if you have any question. If there's a mistake somewhere, let me know so that I make the corrections. If I have time tomorrow, I'll try to do some integration. Enjoy the day.